Michael from Trackworthy, and this is the first in Canada 2017 Porsche 911 Carrera 4 GTS Cabriolet. As you can see, beautiful pearlescent white exterior and a red interior with red seats, red seat belts, red roof, and red gauge cluster. So this is the 991.2. One of the biggest changes for this car is the fact that they now are all turbocharged. In prior generations, just the turbo was turbocharged, and now all Porsches are turbocharged, including the 718 Boxsters with their four-cylinder turbos. This has a six-cylinder turbo. So in the rear, one of the biggest changes on this car is it now has vertical slots on the engine cooler versus the before it was horizontal. And as you can see on this GTS model, we've got these center mounted exhausts with the sport exhaust, which personally I really like. Uh, I think it adds a nice look to the car. Used to see those on the 911 GT3 RSs before, which I really liked. And up front we have LED headlights, which look quite amazing, work great at night, and look quite different than the standard headlights. Also in the front of the car, one of the changes for the 991.2 is slight changes to the air intakes, which you will notice over the prior gen car. This car has 20 inch center locking rims with 305, 30, 20 Pirelli P0s on the rear and 245, 35, 20s on the front with carbon ceramic brakes. Some people might feel that the two-wheel drive 911 is more fun to drive than the four-wheel drive. There are definite benefits to having all-wheel drive on this car. Acceleration from zero to 60 is quicker. Acceleration out of corners is quicker, especially when you're at the racetrack. A rear-wheel drive car, when you take off a little bit of the traction control, you can have a lot of fun with them, no question. And the all-wheel drive car maybe doesn't give you quite that much entertainment value. But having said that, with a PDK and all-wheel drive around a racetrack, especially in wet conditions, this car will do an amazing job versus a rear-wheel drive car. Also, for anyone who lives in a climate that has all seasons, you get into the fall, you get leaves on the road, water, having all-wheel drive is a great benefit. And uh, for the really brave ones who put snows on their cars, drive these in the winter, you can't beat it. So one of the great things about all 911s now is some trickle-down technology from the old turbo. In all Porsche 911s now, at slow speed, you turn left and the rear tire, it turns in the opposite direction. So the turning radius is amazing. At high speed, you turn left and the rear wheel turns left as well so that both the front and rear are kind of heading in the same direction for more stability at high speed. Originally that was only available in the turbo models, now it's available in all 911s and you can really notice it in this car. At extremely slow speeds when you crank the wheel you can turn really well and then at high speeds as you change lanes. We have not taken this to a track yet. This is obviously an extremely track worthy car but when you're at the racetrack at speed and you turn to the left the rear wheels will turn a little bit to the left as well to give you more stability in high speed cornering. Some differences for you, the prior gen 911 Carrera 4 GTS Cabriolet had 424 horsepower at 7500 RPM. The new 991.2 Carrera 4 GTS Cabriolet has 450 horsepower. Torque is up significantly, 325 pound-feet in the prior gen and 405 pound-feet, so another 80 pound-feet of torque which you really notice in a car like this, especially when you're accelerating. Lots of grunt and lots of get up and go. The 911 Carrera 4S Cabriolet, the non-GTS version, has 420 horsepower and 368 pound-feet of torque. The base 911 Carrera Cabriolet comes with 370 horsepower and 331 pound-feet of torque. The base 911 Carrera does 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in 4.8 seconds. The 911 Carrera 4S Cabriolet does 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in 4.4 seconds. And the 2017 911 Carrera 4 GTS Cabriolet 
will sprint from zero to 100 kilometers an hour in 3.4 seconds. So even though this is a turbo car, the sort of quote unquote non-turbo 911 doing zero to 100 in sub four seconds is extremely quick. So some initial driving impressions for you. Some people may worry that now that all 911s are turbocharged, not just the turbo version, but every 911 is a flat six turbocharged engine. They may worry that it may not sound good, but Porsche has taken care of that, especially in this example, which has the sport exhaust. It sounds incredible, and you can generate all sorts of great sounds out of the rear end of this car, especially at speed. This all-wheel drive 911 provides incredible acceleration when you have all four wheels tugging in the same direction. We haven't taken this to a racetrack yet, but get this car to a racetrack and accelerate out of the corners and the grip will be amazing, especially on a dry day. And on wet conditions, no question that this car will outperform a rear wheel drive car. One of the great things about this convertible is the ability to raise and lower the roof in around 13 seconds at speeds of up to 30 miles per hour or 50 kilometers per hour. So this has the multifunction steering wheel with, as you can see, changing various features on the right hand screen, starting and ending phone calls, as well as volume for either the phone or the radio. Paddle shifters are made out of a beautiful material. I think that's one of the things manufacturers can get wrong. Some manufacturers make their paddles out of plastic and no one wants to be touching plastic paddles. Porsche has done this out of beautifully machined metal and uh, feels great to the touch. This car is also equipped with a carbon fiber option. So you have carbon fiber on the top and bottom of the steering wheel and various other levels of trim in the car, as well as beautiful carbon fiber on the door sill. Some changes to this steering wheel over the prior generation. All manufacturers are wanting to put more things onto the steering wheel and Porsche has added this little stock and you can change your driving modes. So this is the default setting at the top, sport, when you put the car into Sport and Sport Plus, you don't get the stop-start function working. And now we're into Sport Plus, which will really make this car aggressive and will be perfect for the racetrack. And then you can also put it into individual mode so that you can have things happen in the car the way you like it. You can have the rear wing go up or down or a number of other settings that you can individually change. And this is the Sport Response button. So you push it and you get 20 seconds of maximum performance. Very useful on a racetrack if you're actually racing someone and you want to pass them. Probably shouldn't be using it in the city, but I guess you could use it on the highway as long as you use it responsibly. But you push this and you get a 20 second countdown and the car is at its absolute maximum horsepower generation. They really are amazing cars. I can't imagine anyone getting, especially the GTS version of this car, and having any disappointments in it whatsoever. Sounds great, it handles great, it's like it's on rails. Shockingly good turning radius on this particular car. Quite a smooth ride, even though it's obviously a very low profile tire, um, but the ride is impeccable. On a day like today, put the top down, go for a drive by the water, you have a hard time finding anything more competent and more enjoyable than the new 911 991.2.